So you want to make a transparent image glow? Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again. I got a couple comments talking about uh, how uh, how you guys are loving 2.8, and that is making me feel great. I really want to thank you guys for loving 2.8 because I love it, and I want to thank you guys uh, for watching the videos. Just wanted to say that, get that out of the way. Thank you guys so much for the support you've been showing lately. Let's get on with the video. Um, usually, when we add textures to things, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna delete our default cube and our lamp by hitting delete on both of those uh, usually when we add textures to things uh, we have a little bit of problems with making them emit light and it's just kind of crazy so I want to clear some stuff up today so I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift a add in a plane RX 90 on my numpad and uh, S to hit to scale up our plane here and we're just gonna hit uh, tab to go into edit mode hit U to go to unwrap and we'll just hit unwrap we'll just unwrap that right there I want to split our window into two pieces by dragging this from the bottom or you can do it up up the top here too by the way um, and we'll just get rid of that and then we'll change this side over to the UV editor and uh, this is when we go ahead and open up our image I'm gonna open up our image right now as you can see I have my image right here it's called fancy font Lord of the Rings oh yeah and we're gonna hit open image <laughs> and we're gonna open that up right there and it's just a really long image uh, of a fancy font that says, you know, fancy font, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. I mean, it's, you can't get more straight and plain forward than that, I gotta tell you. Um, so if we go ahead and go over to the uh, render tab here, you can see we can't see anything. The reason for this is because uh, our, 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 our plane has nothing on it yet. We have to set all this material up. So let me go ahead and add in a lamp again. We'll add in a shift A, we'll add in a point lamp just right in front so we can see exactly what's going on so there's no weirdness. Now, uh, with our with our plane here, it's a it's kind of a weird shape right now. You can see this is the actual shape of the plane. So if I hit uh, U unwrap, it's actually becoming a rectangle. We can do smart UV wrap. It'll be the same thing. We can do light. Uh, you can do light map. We can do it's all the same thing. Doesn't matter. That's not going to matter right now. So we'll just do regular unwrap. And we'll go ahead and change our UV editor now that we have that image opened up to the shader editor. We can open up now. So with our plane, I'm just going to go ahead and hit a new material on here right here. And now we have a uh, new instance of this material. I'm going to go ahead and just call this uh, uh, fancy font <laughs> Lord of the Ring. <laughs> Lord L Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the name of our material. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and hit Shift A a couple of times and, and get all the stuff that we need in here. I'm going to open up our principal shader there. Hit Shift A. Well, Shift A. Uh, search. Mix. We'll just grab a mix shader. Shift A. Search. Uh, image texture put that up there shift a finally emission so now we have all this stuff we need I'm gonna go ahead and plop that mix shader right there in between the principal and the material output I'll hook up the emission shader right there into the shader output and the image texture will go right up there and we'll hook the alpha up into the factor of the mix shader so now what we're gonna have what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna hit this little picture icon and open up our uh, fancy font Lord of the Rings oh yeah image and now you should be able to see that we have this working right here. Now, if I didn't have this emission shader in here, you can see that it was black because the image is black. If you remember, if you remember correctly, the image is actually a black, uh, black font. But if we go ahead and go back to the shader editor, hook up that emission into the uh, into the material, you can see that it is now white, which means this is working. Um, problem is, this is backwards. Um, so yeah, we need to we need to fix that. Let's go ahead and go back to the shader editor here. No, the the, the uh, UV editor. Sorry. If we hit if we hit S X, we can scale it in different directions. Now, if we go this way, you can see that if if I was able to uh, flip it upside down, there we go. Uh, all right, so now it's backwards. <laughs> there we go. So now this is working the right way around, something like that. And I only want one of them on there at the same time. If we hit S Y, you can see we can scale it in and out like that. But we get stuff on the top. But that's fine. We'll have three of them. Sure, why not? Uh, that looks good right there. So now it's not upside down. Now it's looking the right way. If I go ahead and turn our overlays off, you can see now we have our image. Uh, just to prove to you that this gray here is not actually part of the image, I'll go back to the shader editor. So we can define this other color by changing the principled color. So now you can see that it is truly a transparent image that does have emission to it. So I can change the emission value way up and way down you can actually animate this and make it flash on and off I'll change the color to like a uh, like a bright yellow you know uh, and this will be like a golden orangey yellow type thing and then, and then we can go to the render tab here and turn bloom on and every single place we have a letter will then have uh, bloom on it which looks 
gorgeous. Um, and this is, is is an excellent way to make the One Ring from the Lord of the Rings. Many other things you can do with this type of thing. It's it's absolutely awesome. Uh, it's pretty simple too. It doesn't take too much. This is this is the this is the setup here. And you know I, I you know back in the day I used to think this was so difficult to get you know an image a transparent image to actually emit light and be a separate thing and not just be a texture but also a material as well so that is it for today's tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye